Hey everybody, Bill and Deb. Hi there. Well, today is Saturday, February 5th. Yes. Is that correct? As far as I know. <laughs> uh, we kind of lose track of time, you know. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Uh, but the last week or so, we did do a couple of things that were kind of fun. One in particular that really is sticking in my mind is the day we took to run down to Tarpon Springs, Florida. All right, Deb, tell everybody where we are. We are in Tarp Tarpon Springs, Florida. <laughs> Tarpon Springs, Florida. Yeah. It is the sponge capital of the world. See yeah. the sponges over here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, Tarpon Springs, that, that particular day, that was last Thursday, February 3rd, the weather was absolutely beautiful that day. Temps were approaching 80 degrees. There was a slight breeze. Uh, the water was ab absolutely gorgeous there. Uh, and we learned a few things that we did not know about Tarpon Springs, right? But we sure did, and it's only like three hours from the campground. That's true. So that's true. It's one of those day trip things. Yeah. Well, tell them a little bit about what we learned about uh, that. Where I read that, it doesn't say sponge capital of the world. It says the largest industry in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the largest sponge capital in the world. Okay. So say that again. See, it says Tarpon Springs sponge industry is the largest in the world. In other words, the industry is in the largest. And with a fleet of 125 or more boats, with crews of some 500 men. 150 of whom are divers and most of whom are natives of the isles of the Mediterranean. And then it tells you how they're treated when they're brought in and then what they do with them. Interesting. They find them in depths of 10 to 130 feet. But we really, really enjoyed our trip there. Saw, uh, saw a lot of uh, boats and everything and uh, here again the weather was just absolutely gorgeous and there was a, another thing that I really appreciated but we can't show you because of copyright issues yeah, yeah, yeah. but there was a young man playing <laughs> violin in one of the market squares and the music was just absolutely beautiful and I really wish I could show you that but you know what you need to just go down there someday and experience, experience all that for yourself, it for yourself. Yeah. Yes. but now the really big thing uh, if I remember correctly, our last video was covering how we were uh, covering up the wiring and the uh, breaker panel. Right. Right. Yes. And the way we left it was we showed how we made uh, the box around it to cover that and made, uh, and made the uh, panel that is also works in conjunction with the breaker panel cover to cover up all the wires and everything and the way we left it was that you were going to probably do some kind of a painting yes i was going to attempt that. to make it pretty yeah yeah <laughs> and we got quite a few comments about how uh you and i <clears throat> discussed that with yeah. the last video <laughs> <laughs> somebody even called me a motor mouth really yeah they did hmm. yeah well, the i don't know where that came no. from <laughs> But anyway, uh, I had my ideas, and Deb wasn't sure what she was going to do and everything, but uh, you know what? It came out just gorgeous. You think we ought to show it to him now? Sure, you're more than welcome to. All right. So we'll go ahead and swing around here. And there it is. Well, you can go ahead and come on down here, dear, and you can point out a couple of little things. Let me go ahead and get a, a close-up view of it right here. Let me back up just a little bit right here but you in my opinion you have to look really really hard to see where the actual breaker panel is yeah here's the door yeah there you go right there and we've been having a little bit of trouble getting that to getting that to door hold to just right shit. yeah but i'll have to do some adjusting on bill's that. got to make some modifications but well, she was really concerned about how she was going to disguise the screws that hold the breaker panel on as well as the screws that holds this panel on that goes around here, you know, that covers all the wiring. So show them what you did right there, dear. Go ahead and well, step up there. Well, basically, we did the vine work. Uh huh. And then I made these flowers, and that's the center of the flowers, and those are screws. Now, these, of course, don't have screws, but these do. Uh huh. So, you know, it was just some way of trying to camouflage it just a little bit and still be able to get in there if Bill needed to. 
So now you're probably going to do some kind of a clear coat or I'm something. I'm going to try on some kind of clear yet. coat. I have not put one on yet. That is in the works. I don't know whether to do a uh, just my regular polyacrylic, which is probably what I'll do because that's what I have. The other thing would be someone suggested a spray acrylic, but I'm afraid to spray in here because I don't want, and I'm lazy. Sure. I don't want to cover everything up to do a spray adhesive. Plus, I'd still have to, you know, cover that. Mm -hmm. But so it'll probably just be a, some kind of a brush on polyacrylic, probably, okay. just to see if it helps. Yeah. Well, you'll probably experiment with just a little corner uh, patch, something first, maybe, and see how it uh, responds. Because uh, part of this is covering over that metal cover. Right. On the so I panel, don't so. know how long yeah. that will hold up. Um, time will tell. Well, you know. And if it doesn't, then we'll step back and do something different. <laughs> Oh, I think it's going to hold up just fine, and uh, you know you're pretty good at doing a little touch up if if something happens to be done along the way. So, anyway, uh, I think it came out really good. I'm really really pleased with how uh, the end result was. I still got a little bit of stuff to do. I still need to put a little piece of trim here to hide where I had to shim this part of it out in order to make it, uh, you know, be straight right here on this side. And then of course we'll be doing the shelving uh, here shortly. But we have another project probably this coming week that uh, we, we we deem to be a little more important than the shelving. Yes, yeah. we want to get our fresh water tank yeah. up. So far, since we've uh, taken up housekeeping in the trailer, which was last June. June. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and um, my goodness, when you look at the photos of how we were living in it then compared to what we've ended up with now, Sometimes it helps for us to go back and do that so it can show us exactly how much we've gotten done so far, you know, while we're still trying to live in it. Yeah, so sometimes it seems endless. <laughs> <laughs> this project ever going right. to be ending? <laughs> but, but we have managed to uh, always be where we could hook up to city water. Yes. And those days are uh, coming to an end yes. before too long. You know, we won't always be able to hook up to city water. So we've got to go ahead and uh, get our fresh water tank hooked up, get the pump installed. We've got most everything that we need. Everything uh, is being held up on one little elbow. One little fitting <laughs> that we're waiting on to get delivered. It's supposed to be your yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. So as soon as that fitting comes in, we'll be getting to work on that. And then we'll uh, be pulling the mattress off of the bed so we can get to everything. And uh, so we'll have free rain to get to everything. Yes. We have... We have uh, excess panels to get to once it's all put together for little incidental things that we need to do but we will be pulling the mattress off and the plywood off of the bed frame and everything so we can have full access to everything while we're installing the pump and hooking up the freshwater tank and we'll show you how we did it so that's what we'll be doing in the next video right Sounds awesome yeah and uh, deb will be standing there cracking the whip telling me well yeah you about wore me out i'm not working anymore <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and I never get wore out, right? No. No. Uh, I'm not allowed to get wore out. Anyway, we are uh, looking to the forward to the next project. Yeah. And, and it's getting that much closer to yes. the Tiny House Adventures Rendezvous. Yes, Today is February is. 5th, and it begins on February 21st. Through the 28th. The long-range forecast is looking pretty good. Yeah. Let's hope it stays that way and or gets better. We're to have a few other videos to show you day trips you could take. Oh, yeah. If, if this other project doesn't tie up all of our time. Right, right. <laughs> you know, we have a lot of preparation to do for that. And, of course, uh, uh be sure and to take a peek at our uh, our website that we do ha now uh, have up and running, which is simply iridetinyhouseadventures.com. And there you can go in there to the menu and find our merchandise store where we offer our shirts and uh, hoodies and hats and uh, cups. Do we have coffee we got, cups? We have coffee cups okay. and we have... Um, I call it a go bag, a, a canvas go bag. bag. Yeah, like a tote bag. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, go in there and take a peek. You know, every little bit helps, believe it or not. All right. <laughs> but for now, we're going to let you go. This is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And you know what we always say. We're not camping. We're living. Y'all get out there and do some living yourself. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye.